What's up, everyone? What is happening? Okay, so uh, uh, Joe Biden, presidential candidate Joe Biden, uh, has been making one gaffe after the next. Uh, first, he said that uh, uh, poor kids are just as smart and as talented as white kids. Uh, then he said uh, he he mistaken the 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 state that he was in while he was at, on the while he was at, at a rally. He said the wrong state. Uh, someone in the audience yelled out the right state. I thought it was funny. It was kind of like that scene in Deuce Bigelow when the big woman walked on stage and somebody yelled out, that's a big girl <laughs> or whatever. That's a big bitch or something like that. I thought it was hysterical. And then um, Biden said that Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy was assassinated in the late 70s. It happened in uh, 1968, to be exact. Uh, I do believe that this, uh, uh, um, well, I shouldn't say I believe, uh, uh, but it it appears in some way, you know, or, I, or it's plausible that uh, uh, Joe Biden, you know, is experiencing the first stage of dementia or something like that. I mean, he is, what, 76, 77 years old. The life expectancy for Americans is like 78 or 79. So he's right there at, the, at that peak age. Um, this really could be, you know, a, a health issue for Joe Biden. And that's why he's having so many slip ups. I mean, he is an older man. Uh, politics aside, you know, this is, you know, this is just the, you know, one of those, uh, one of those uh, uncomfortable facts of, 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 uh, of reality of life. Um, so I do believe that they've been trying. Uh, I don't know if it's the DNC or uh, maybe not the DNC, but his, his campaign have been trying to keep Joe Biden out of the public eye. The most they can try they cut his tour dates down his rally dates down they cut it down to a minimum they don't want him uh doing too many public appearances um now he's known as creepy joe uh, uh for uh sniffing women and children and stuff like that maybe maybe he was like on the podium or something or in the back room you know you know sniffing the microphone or something like that and they're like this guy that's not even a person joe what are you doing uh and they know something we don't know that that his health is in decline and and they're uh, uh, keeping he, keeping his public appearance down to a minimum to prevent him from saying more silly things. That's going to basically push him out of the out of the race. Now he is in the lead. He is uh, uh, holding the lead and has been holding the lead for the Democratic side uh, because he's a a moderate, a middle of the road Democrats. Most of the Democrats in the country don't want to vote for a socialist and, and, and a, a progressive, a very far left, uh, uh, you know, progressive candidate. So you know, you, you have a lot of business Democrats. You have a lot of uh, 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 working class Democrats, stuff like that, and they, they don't want socialism and progressivism. So they they're voting for uh, uh, for Joe. Uh, they you know at least in the polls at. Uh, um, now, let's just say Joe wins the primary. It's very important that he picks a good vice president because if he doesn't uh, and he doesn't make it past his first term, which I don't think he will, if he loses, I think it's 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 lights out for his career. And, and unfortunately, his health, it might be lights out permanently for him if when he loses the election because of his age. And it does it does appear that his health is is declining, at least his his cognitive functions are declining. So. You know, you know, uh, saying uh, it's a slurred speech here and there that he has. He fumbles things, you know, his wording, uh, you know, his memory lapse and stuff like that. That this is a cognitive uh, a function issue with his brain. It very, very well could be at his age. So uh, he will be calling it quits after this uh, election for sure. If he wins and he goes into office, I don't believe he's going to make a full four years in office before he's going to be forced to. Uh, resign, and he's going to leave his vice president um, in charge. Which, unfortunately, if he decides to do the strategic thing and pick a, a you know Sanders or Warren to run with him, or maybe even Harris to run with him to get to get those votes as well with the moderate votes, then he'll be leaving the office and leaving that person in charge. And that is something that we definitely don't want to happen. It's a very dangerous situation. These are not these are not very rational people on that side, by the way. Like Joe Biden is the most rational Democrat running for office. This, in, in this term, in this uh, election cycle, which shows you what we're up against and shows you how dangerous it is to, to vote for anyone else in that party. So hopefully Trump wins. Um, now, that's just trying to play. Uh, the, the Democrats don't care as long as Trump doesn't win. So they know that if, if, if Joe's health is declining, they don't care that he's going to resign once he gets into office, as long as he gets into office. Take, take one of these, you know, one of these candidates with you, get into office, you can resign and they'll take over. Either way, we have the House back. We don't care. It's a win-win for us. That's all they care about, right? They just want Trump gone. So uh, they're going to just play him to the side the best they can, let him make the minimum appearances as possible to try to keep him from, you know, saying stupid things. Um, I'm surprised if, if, if um, during the next few debates coming up, if they don't throw him a bone and, and 
know him and not really ask him too many questions. Because, uh, you know, they're all in cahoots together, the entire Democratic Party, uh, you know, whatever. You know, if I'm telling you this, trust me, they know they know a lot more than me. This is their business. They know, you know, not only do they know more of the technical aspects of politics, but they also know how to be corrupted, right? They, they, they're a little better at that. So they know. I wouldn't be surprised in the next few um the next few debates that they kind of ignore Joe a little bit. Don't ask him too many questions. Uh, don't go at him too much. Uh, the candidates will because they're trying to knock him down because they want to they want to win in the polls. Uh, but the moderators are probably not going to ask him too many questions. They're going to uh, tone that down because they know that he's not capable. They know that he might slip up, uh, and then he'll be forced to maybe back out of the out of the out of the race or just lose um, lose altogether. Uh, he probably has the best chance of beating uh, 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 Trump. So they want him there in the end, uh, but he, he's not going to do very well. You know, I don't think he'll do very well up against Trump. Trump, I think he's going to lose. Uh, but if he wins, I think they know that he will be calling it quits while he's in in his first term. Um, they just have to hold off to the best they can because they have to get into office. It's kind of like uh, uh, Ruth uh, uh, Ginsburg, who, who Ginsburg is. That? I think that's how you say her name. I don't care. Uh, the, the Supreme Court justice, she's on her way out. We all know that. She's in her 80s. She she's probably doesn't even show up to work. I don't think she's capable of performing her duties, but they don't want her to resign just yet because then Trump will get to pick another Supreme Court justice who will be confirmed, and then it'll be a 6-3 conservative to liberal in the Supreme Court. So they don't want to do that, so they're playing her off to the side until Trump is gone, and then she can resign unless she unfortunately passes away, and then Trump will get to... Um, to pick a new court, uh, Supreme Court justice. Now, if Trump loses and let's say Biden wins, she's going to retire the very next day. She's going to retire. And within that first term, Biden will be retiring. The uh, Democrats don't care because then they'll have a Democratic uh, president either way. And they'll get to put a new Supreme Court justice in there and Trump will be gone. So this is just some of the uh, uh, strategies of the left uh, uh, coming up in, in the very near future. Again, it's just my prediction, my uh, my opinion on uh on Joe Biden and what's what's going on with his health and uh, and what strategy the Democrats are looking to play out of this. So let me know what you think about it. If you agree or disagree, um, I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, help me grow my channel, and I will see you guys on the next video.